The biggest problem at American High School appears, at least, to be the proverbial rumor mill. There were no knifings, as reported, when the incident occurred. Eighteen students were suspended for engaging in a fight inside the school. Two teenagers were injured. Because of the school's black Latin mix, racial ethnic overtones were immediately implied. Not true, according to the school. One radio station reported that American High closed for ten days. Not true. Calls to Miami news media today warned of a demonstration by 200 parents protesting the suspensions. Just over 30 parents showed up, not to picket, but to meet with Principal Glenda Harris. Mrs. Harris asked reporters not be present at the meeting in an effort to keep the proceedings calm. Following the encounter, most parents seemed unhappy, but they differed about what, if anything, should be done to make the school safer. You think security is the answer? Yes. We need more security than this school because my children got 11 stitches in the back. One parent asked for more security, and I feel that uh, the kids here, if they bring more security, they, this will be like a prison. Principal Harris feels that American High's past problems are at fault for the current publicity and that parents and students, for the most part, will soon have the current situation ironed out. Will there be any policy changes as a result of this? I think our policy, as stands right now, are sufficient to handle anything that comes up right now. I'm, I, I'm satisfied with them. At any rate, the story is bound to have a happy ending on June 14th. That's when classes let out for the summer. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.